the SBAC show at Farnborough, with Oliver Stewart's commentary, provides a shop window for British progress and achievement in the air. In the helicopter field, ferry aviation is a name worth noting. Their gyrodyne, displayed in 1949, was their first venture in rotary wing aircraft and proved to be a world beater. With its roomy four-seat cabin, this comparatively small aircraft, powered by an Alvis Leonides, displayed a number of interesting features. A forward-facing propeller mounted on the starboard stub wing balanced the torque of the large three-blade rotor and, in addition to providing forward thrust, reduced the need for tilt on the rotor in normal flight. The gyrodyne configuration resulted in an aircraft which handled well and maintained a normal attitude in all conditions of flight. From the Mark I gyrodyne came the natural development, the elimination of torque problems altogether. At the show in 1955 we saw the gyrodyne Mark II, still powered by the Leonides but now with a two-blade rotor mounting fairy tip pressure jets. For normal flight, power was switched to two forward-facing propellers, leaving the rotor free to auto-rotate. In the static park, this jet helicopter attracted the photographers. And why not? For this interesting development holds great promise for the future. And so to the ultralight, Ferry's latest achievement. Powered by a Blackburn Palouse engine, this little machine is truly a child of the jet age, with its tip jet rotor and jet E-flux steering. Ferry's ultralight first showed its paces at the SBAC show in 1955. And, as Oliver Stewart was quick to admit, his performance in 1956 was even more convincing. Now watch this rate of climb for this very small helicopter. Well, I got a very rough timing on that uh, ultralight, and it seemed to me that he was climbing at the rate of about 1,300 feet a minute uh, using those tip jets, pressure jets at the tips. And now watch the descent, because the other day during a rehearsal, he made a very, very rapid descent. He cut his engine, uh, cancelled the, um, the pressure jets, and he's now using that rotor simply as a windmill to give him that, to take him down to the ground. Now he's windmilling and he's letting it drop towards the ground. Now, note the rate of descent of this little ultralight. Here we come, 